Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the whole air cleaner box assembly. Um, these can these can get cracked over time just because of the heat and stress, and also they tend to get damaged in small accidents as well. Um, it's a fairly easy replacement. The only tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet. Okay, your air box is here. Uh, it can kind of easily get damaged. Fender damage happens or anything like that. Um, what you want to do is start by taking the top of your air box off. There's two clips. You push them down, they're here on the side. Then loosen up a uh, clamp here with a flat blade screwdriver. Kind of pull that hose off and pick up your air box. Okay, now disconnect it right here. Okay. Just a little clamp here holding the harness on. Just pushing, I'm just, I'm just pushing the teeth, collapsing the teeth, and pushing the wire harness back through. Okay, and now my airbox is fine, so I'm going to put my original one back in. But what you would want to do is remove these four 10 millimeter bolts and take your airflow sensor housing and bolt it onto your new one. Okay, now you want to remove this panel here so you can remove your um, air intake duct. So these clips just you kind of pry the middle up and then you can either pry the clip out or pry the panel up. Now there's four more clips right down here. Same thing, pry out the middle and pull them up and off. And once you get those off, this part of the housing just kind of comes up, pull it forward up and out. Okay, right here there's a 10 millimeter bolt. A socket and ratchet extension makes it easier, but you can just do it with a wrench as well. Take that bolt out. Okay, you can either leave the air cleaner in there or take it out. Uh, all you do now is just kind of pull up firmly, take your clamps, and kind of bring them in towards the center. Pull up nice and firm on this box. bring it up and out. And you can see my original one's fine, so I'm just going to reinstall it. New ones from 1A Auto are designed to replace the original ones. They mount in there exactly the same. You can see that there's two pins here. Those two pins just go down into rubber cushions in the vehicle. So you put the box down back in. Sometimes your clips might get hung up on the fender here. Then just kind of peek and I can see that one's going right down in and then my other one's going down in so then I just kind of push firmly down in and put my 10 millimeter loop back in your filter back in, take your air box cover, you have to put the 
kind of feed that in to the air intake duct there. Then there's three tabs on the housing. You just kind of look those down in, make sure that they go underneath. Okay, and then rotate that down, push it down on, reach in, grab your clips, reset them. Pull this duct on. Harness. Clip it in. And then reconnect your airflow sensor. Okay. Tighten our clamp back on. center of these pins out and push them down in and down the lock. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.